Hey what's up guys, Jed here and welcome back to my channel. Intermittent fasting without a caloric deficit. Does it work? Uh, you're about to find out. But before we get into all that, go ahead and do me a favor by giving this video a like. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Ah uh, yes, the good old question. Does intermittent fasting work without a caloric deficit? To answer that question, no. Intermittent fasting does not work without a caloric deficit. How do I know this? Simple, try it, it won't work. But I wanna save you guys time. I've done it when I first started out on my weight loss journey. It doesn't work, it just doesn't work. And I really, really wish it was the case, right? I really wish intermittent fasting was as simple as just following, you know, a fasting window plus an eating window and then just letting everything Everything else happen automatically. I really wish that was the case, but it's not. If you want your weight to go from point A to point B, you need to put yourself in a caloric deficit. As a matter of fact, I've said in several videos that if you want to drop the weight, you don't even need to do intermittent fasting. The whole purpose of implementing intermittent fasting is just to make the process of counting calories as well as being in a caloric deficit easier. That's it. Matter of fact, you don't even need to do IF, as I just said. So yeah, guys, if you want to lose weight, do intermittent fasting. Thing if you want to and do not ignore being in a caloric deficit. You can't avoid that. People think that it's not true, that you don't need to be in a caloric deficit, that you don't need to count calories, but I promise you guys, try it out for yourself. Don't just say, oh, you know, cal caloric deficit's just, you know, fat, it's not real. You don't need to count calories. Guys, seriously, try it out for yourself if it works. It's not going to work. You have two choices. Either do intermittent fasting to give yourself a higher chance of being in a caloric deficit or push intermittent fasting to the side and just be in a deficit, simple as that. But if you want fast results, which I know a lot of people want, do intermittent fasting and be in a caloric deficit. Anyway, that's all I gotta say about that. If you guys are interested in learning more about weight loss and intermittent fasting, be sure to check out my last video where I talk about why you're not losing weight even though you're doing intermittent fasting and working out. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already and tap that notification bell so that you never miss out on any future videos. Also, don't forget to give this video a like and a comment down below letting me know. How is your intermittent fasting journey going? And with that said, I will see you guys next time.